I'm John Flower. I am a history teacher. I teach Chinese history at a Sidwell Friends School in Washington, D.C. And I've been coming to China since 1991 and working with my wife and partner, Pamela Leonard, in the countryside. And I've been doing research for 25 years in the countryside. And lately, we've been bringing students from Sidwell and other schools to China to do uh, long-term fieldwork experiences. I was sitting in the office one day where there's seven or eight of us who work together. We all teach history. Um, and um, Dr. Flower walked in and he said, um, I need somebody to help me who would like to volunteer to go to China. And I said, that sounds like fun. And he said, okay, that, that's how I got involved. I was just visiting Mr. Flower at Sidwell and he mentioned that he had been visiting this village and he said he found this great house, this great farmhouse there and it was gonna be flooded and he was trying to save it and hopefully move it back to the United States. And immediately I just thought that was a, such a cool idea. For many years, we were very fortunate to live in a place called Shako in Sichuan. And uh, we learned a lot about China just by learning about the house. The house is kind of like a text that taught us a lot about how people live and about how people remember their place. And then when I brought American students to China, we had them do research projects on houses in Shizhou. Uh, we've done that for many years, and in the course of that, we went to Tsejong, and we heard that, oh, uh, some of these Tibetan houses are very interesting, sort of a mix of Tibetan and Han and Nashi. And so in 2014, we went for a walk, and we walked down, down, down to see where the hamlet was that was going to be flooded, and we met Mr. Zhang, and Mr. Zhang invited us into his home, and I remember saying to him at the time, oh, your house is so beautiful, it's a shame. We can't just take it down and bring it to America. And Mr. John said, great, let's do it. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool, instead of taking students to China to see houses, if we could take a Chinese house to the students so that they could see it in another place. Tasha 寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候寻找香格里拉的时候
A strange phenomenon for which we are very grateful. The house is 八九年这个修房子八九年了这就住那二十八年有了所以你来的时候是老房子嗯老房子那哪一年到这儿来那个时候你二十二十几岁了快二十三吧二十三还是二十二吧那就说来了一两年以后就把这个房子起起来了我也
Um, I was brought along by Mr. John Flower uh, to help on this project because I have some experience building and uh, taking apart old houses. My purpose of coming was trying to keep track of all the different parts, uh, label everything, uh, draw a map of, of the different sections of the house, label each part, and then stack them together and wrap them up so that then they can be put back together in the same order. So my main job is essentially doing a survey of the house. So taking measurements of walls, the whole plot, and then also the interior joinery. So all the wood members, the columns, the posts, the beams, and modeling how they all fit together. So what I'm gonna be producing at the end of this is a comprehensive model in a program called Revit that will essentially show every joint, every structural member, every wall in the house. It's both, I think, to help Marty put the house back together in the end, but also so we have a digital version of the house, essentially. 45 by 45 by 30. Uh, 25. Um, I think we've both been sort of helping hands. Um, we've kind of been doing miscellaneous tasks. Um, we did a lot of inventory, cataloging, we did a lot of labeling, we did a lot of photography just a bunch of different tasks along the way. Fundi 
what is fascinating to me in this particular village is the mixture of Chinese, Tibetan, Mumbai, the mixture of people, the mixture of um, the Catholic religion with all these Buddhist symbols and uh, religious temples. Um, all of that together is a, is a part of China I had no idea existed. Um, and it, it, it's very special and very different and makes me appreciate the diversity of China, um, what a big country it is. It's beautiful and fascinating. One of the things I really liked was when we interviewed uh, the old lady, Anno. She was Han Chinese. She lost her parents in the Second World War in the fighting after the Second World War. She was taken in by the Nashi Tusa, the Nashi chieftain of Sejong. And then she was married into a Tibetan family. The most interesting where she said, oh, we have different beliefs, but we all live together. So that if someone dies, if the person who dies is a Christian, then the Christian people come to the funeral and all of the, of the Buddhist people work in the kitchen to help out and to serve everyone. And then if the person who dies is Buddhist, then all the Christians do that for them. And I thought that story just epitomizes the best of Sujong and of the different peoples and how they live together. This是证明 so, if you take these and go to Deqing, these guys have yeah. Okay. So what do we do? Yeah.
，但是我觉得省上应该没有这个规定，所以。What what should we do? I mean, to me, it seems like there's a malgun between, you know, you make somebody move, but then you restrict what they can do with the with the housework. Right? Why shouldn't he be able to? It's his property. Why shouldn't he be able to sell it to whoever he wants? Why should that be restricted? To me, it seems like this is the Nidiyaji just just. 跟他们没有什么关系，对不对？不是看看书，而是拆房子。房子是房子，木头是木头。因为这个在我们国内比较少，大家都觉得旧木料是最不值钱的。这些木料就是大家的想法就是劈柴火， yeah. 什么都不是。Yeah. 要要 yeah, I don't know what to say. It's a, it's a problem. We do what we can do. If they can't get permission, then at least we won't pay for the shipping. <laughs> My impression was that there, the, the people in the, in the Duchin government saw there were foreigners here and they wanted to know about it and these guys needed to have our registration of what we're, when we're here and when we're, where we're going and, and stuff like that. Maybe it is sensitive because, because, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, because of uh, yeah. relocation. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, it seems okay. This is a we all are, including Huang Teacher, have never done this before. It is to buy a house, go to America. This is not an easy thing to do. If you have a lot of money, for example, I have done many projects before. I know how to move, how to go. I know. But this is a completely different thing. 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 你就会觉得压力很大，你不知道明天它会发生什么样新的问题，是你必须要做了以后，你不断的发现一个遇到新的问题之后你去解决。我是基于这样来考虑，不是说你做好很多准备或者怎么样就可以的。Most of the things I do require many years of planning, right? In this case, I didn't have many years of planning. I had many years where I was thinking about this, but then there's a deadline because Shimalaza will be underwater, so we had to move before we have everything fully in place. But I still think there's time for us to figure things out as we go, feel the stones as we cross the river. A smile. Lindo? Happy beer or sad beer, Lindo? When did you come? 20 minutes ago. Happy beer or sad beer? Uh, I guess first you would treat me a glass of wine, uh -oh. and then you give me a glass of beer. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you have good news? I get. I have something in between. I got something in between. Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of time talking with a local uh, governor in the forest field. I go over all the regulations with this guy. And once I find something he don't understand, I explain to him. Let's see, if, if the law does not stop you, that means you can do it, right? But he's, he's just afraid, he was afraid of uh, taking the responsibility. So eventually uh, I worked this out. It tells, we are allowed to carry the wood. 
from from Dishin to Dali. So after I got this permit, I called my guy in Dali. He said there should be a permit worked in all country. So with that permit from uh, Dishin to Dali, they can make a they can make a permit for me from Dali to Beijing. So this is very strange. It's something in between. But it's much better than nothing. I mean, I, without this permit, they will stop us maybe just out of the village. But with this permit, I, I can take the... Uh, you can Dali. get to Dali? I can get to Dali. Okay. As yeah. long as it gets to Dali, at least Aaron and Jacob yeah. will, <laughs> will have it. Well, that's pretty good. I think that's way better than nothing. It seems like he succeeded. Good old Yang Quixote. I only have three right now. Yeah. 
的，很不容易。你看，有句话说马天，你看到了每天都这么辛苦。说实话，体力活他们干的比我多的好几倍，不知道有多少倍了。每天每天他们都干这么多的活，然后这些参与的工人也会觉得很，就是他们很不容易嘛，都不忍心看他们这么辛苦，所以他们也是很努力的工作。他们也许对我们的理念不是很了解，但是他们是全力以赴。我觉得我们应该要感谢这些人。反正大家凝聚起来做一个事情，我觉得挺好的。反正我挺开心，大家都不容易。可以了。Every day, we worked all day long, and then there was the weather to deal with. Is it going to rain? Oh no, is it going to rain? What's going to happen today? And there would be one problem after another. Permits, right? And, and drivers, transport, customs, and shipping, and, you know, one thing after another. If you think about it, even down to the end, how we took apart the final kitchen building <laughs> Is the rain going to let up? And we have a deadline. They're going to start dumping more dirt on the place where we're going to load, and you know. And then the weather cleared, and we got everything out. Ten o'clock of the last day. I think this project was always something that happened very quickly. And I think that what's been cool to see is we've been able to make a lot of those decisions during the trip. So that was, you know, made me a little bit uncomfortable at first, but you know, it's fine now. I think it's all worked out really well. Are we crazy? That's what Pam asked the first thing when she heard Marty was there. She said, oh, ask Marty, are we crazy? Because we don't know. We're so caught up in the middle of everything, just trying to get everything done that maybe we don't have the, maybe we're crazy, maybe it'll fail, but it was worth trying. I think it was worth trying. We are just a regular person. Do a little bit of regular people should do. I really hope that we can have an opportunity to let more friends and friends to know our friends here, to know their lives. 认识到他们的生活方式，他们很幸福的在池州生活着，我觉得挺好。Now we'll remember, you know, landing in Shangri-La and driving on that road with, you know, through the clouds, um, along the river. I'll remember living in this village, um, and I'll remember being with the group of people that we were, and all those memories will be. Um, with me um, for a long time. I'm kind of looking forward now. I hope we get the opportunity to put the house up again. You know, been here long enough and handled each piece several times, so I, I feel like I, I can have a pretty good idea about how it needs to go back together. I hope I don't lose that over the period of time it takes to move everything, but um, I think that'll be fun to do future. I feel very grateful to all of the team and all of the crew, all the people we worked with, because it was a very unusual, uncommon, and in many ways challenging project right and everybody pitched in everybody helped and we succeeded in this first phase uh, 
I'm relieved and grateful and tired, but happy. At San R E.